Mr. Bunt, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? I can. Mr. Bunt, um, this is the um, district court in Antrim County. Okay. And I see that you're on my docket, but I don't have any paperwork for you. And it's my understanding that you have a Grand Traverse case. Yes. So what I'm, so what I'm going to do is ask the probation department to um, kindly set this for um, a probation violation arraignment. Uh, I guess. With my understanding, I, I had thought my attorney, Jake Graff, I don't know if he's in right now, but he had said that sometimes you do do cases for Grand Travers. He is here. Let me pull him in. I, I think that this was a potentially an error, but I don't know. I just, I didn't receive notice of. And I know he struggled to receive notice from the courts about anything in my case. So they weren't being very cooperative for the longest time, even to him. Good morning, Mr. Graff. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes. So I was just telling um, Mr. Bunt that I, I I wasn't expecting to see um, a Grand Travers case. Um, we we could move forward with the um, uh, let's see here. Would you Sir, would you like to proceed, Mr. Graff, with the probation violation arraignment this morning? That would be fine if the court would, would allow it. I think it sounds like there was some confusion. Mr. Bunt received a, a notice for 11 o'clock today. Um, and so we're, we're ready to be arraigned and set this for a hearing at a later date if the court would be obliged. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Um, and Mr. Graff, have you, so let me go ahead and call the case. It's case 21-5281-FY1. And we have Jacob Bunt present via Zoom with his attorney, Mr. Graff. We're here for a probation violation arraignment. And Mr. Graff, how would your client like to proceed with this? Good morning, Your Honor. He'd enter a not guilty plea, ask the court to set this for a hearing at a later date, and then we'd also like to, I guess, address bond. Okay, very good. All right, so I will have, I will ask the probation department to schedule the hearing with Judge Cooney. It looks like there is an active bench warrant currently. And Mr. Graff, what would you like to say about bond? Thank you, Honor. Honor, obviously, late, I guess, after hours yesterday, we finally received the, the probation violation information on this case. And so we've had very little time to obviously prepare, um, not knowing specifically what all the allegations were. If the court would look at the notice, it, it talks about a, a positive PBT on April 22nd, which I don't think is applicable to Mr. Bunt. And so obviously going into today until we received that information last night, we were going in somewhat blind. Um, we do have that information. We do have information we'd like to present on his behalf. I guess the one thing is he, he retained my services. I reached out to try to take care of the warrant. Um, Somehow this got set for hearing as opposed to having him turn himself in. So he has taken a proactive approach and trying to get things under control and get things uh, resolved here. Uh, I know that the recommendations asked for him to be remanded pending uh, the hearing. Um, but given that the fact that one, he's taken the initiative to get this ball rolling uh, Two, as far as I know, there are no new criminal charges. Three, he's appearing today knowing uh, what these recommendations are and that the court could place him in jail pending a hearing. But also more importantly, there's a lot of information that we have to present at the time of his hearing uh, regarding what he's accomplished over the last couple of years. Uh, I think there may be more information Mr. Bunt would want to get to me now that we know specifically what the allegations are so that we can present a, a full defense uh, when that time comes. Um, as far as I know, as the court will see from the notice, he resides in Lapeer. He's got a job. At, uh, he just enrolled in college. At, um, and there are a number of other things that obviously we'd be presenting on his behalf about the services that he has, 
uh, participated and completed. Uh, lastly, I was informed this morning that Mr. Bunt has paid off all his fines and costs. And so this has not been, I, I guess, a complete failure as may be alleged on the information that's been presented to the court. I understand today is not the day for the hearing, but I, I certainly want the court to have a little bit better idea of how Mr. Bunt presents as, a, as uh, in regards to obviously the information that may have had coming into this. And so for those reasons, Your Honor, I would ask the court to consider a lie to remain out on bond. Um, obviously, he'll know that he'll have to travel to Traverse City for that hearing and appear in person for it. Um, and it could result in more troubles for him if he doesn't. But I think the fact that he's taken the initiative to get this moving uh, is a step in the right direction and speaks to obviously how much he wants to resolve this and will do so. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Graff. All right. So let me just verify um, your mailing address, Mr. Bunt. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. And we will have the probation department schedule this for an in-person um, hearing that will take place at the courthouse in Grand Traverse County. This, this is an unusual case. This is a pretty serious, um, you know, the underlying charges with this. And, and I, I'm not um, unsympathetic for what Mr. Graff is saying. It sounds like you've, you've been actively working on um, sobriety and Im improving yourself, but I don't have any verification of, of any of that having taken place. I don't think it would have been outside the realm of your recovery to contact probation. You did. You I know. Did. I, um, hold hold I on just a minute. It, Mr. Bunt, it's not your turn to talk. Hold on, please. You, you've been um, just kind of hanging out there no one has had any idea of what you're doing, what you have been doing, the things you've accomplished. And um, I, I guess I'm, I'm not understanding why you didn't simply reach out. Um, you know, we have tools and resources here. You, you had um, every opportunity for, it looks like a couple of years to, to just try to reach out and catch up before before it came to this um, crossroads here. So with that being said, um, let's see. Did you? At some point, did you say you were going to turn yourself in? Yes, I was going to be turning myself in after my graduation. I graduated. I, uh, one of the things on probation was to get my GED, and I did accomplish that. Um, Jake Graff has a photocopy of my diploma. Um, I will be walking and getting a cap and gown. Um, I am already enrolled in the MOT. I started, I went through some mental health issues and I'm still in actively getting help from CMH. I have a signed waiver of release information for the courts. Um, I've been working. I know it. there is no proof of me showing my recovery, and I know it probably doesn't look good on you guys, but I, I, did, I did improve myself, and I take full, uh, full responsibility for my wrongdoings in the past, and I'm, I don't want to just have my freedom like, you get when you get out of jail. I don't just want freedoms. I want to be successful. I want to do the things everyone tells you you should do and you can do. And, you know, I want to try to, I'm going into college to get associates in business. I want to be an entrepreneur and follow in my father's footsteps. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bond. And I do appreciate that. And I don't want you to look at this as a setback in your recovery, I want you to look at this as moving forward and getting closure with this, okay? 
and that that's just going to help you and build a strong foundation for continuing to move forward down there in Lapeer. So at this, at this time, I'm going to ask you to make arrangements to come turn yourself into the Grand Traverse County Jail. The probation department will set this for a hearing. I would ask them to set it for the fastest, soon as possible date. So that Even we can then, get this thing expedited. Officer wants me to sit a year. I'm not going to go to college. I get out of jail when I'm 26. It takes me four years to get a degree. By the time I have money, I'm going to be old as Mr. Bunt, please, please stop. I <laughs> want you to continue moving forward. I just, I can't, I can't look at the, the facts of the past and just allow this to, to continue on this way. So I am going to ask that you turn yourself in by 7 p.m. tonight. I can't, I'm four, I don't even have a license. I can't. I can't get up there that fast. I have a job. I got bills. I got to drop out of college. No, Mr. I won't be able to get my walk. I will everything. I work hard. Mr. Bunch, I won't be able to do. I'm, I'm going to have to mute you. <laughs> I've I've muted you. I I want you to know that this this is a first step in getting closure for this case. And you you had every opportunity to to make a step forward and I appreciate that you did contact the court but you haven't followed through. So Mr. Graf, would you would you want a brief breakout room with your client? Sure, that, that'd be fine. I don't want to hold up the court's time. I can, I can call them after court as well. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if, if it would um, be, be easier for you to try to talk to them right now or if, if you'd just rather end this for now and um, give them a call. I'll give him a call here, and I, I don't want to use up the court's time, Mr. Bond. Just so you know, you, you didn't get a year in jail today. You're 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 being remanded pending your hearing, which will come up pretty soon. I understand you're disappointed, but you're, you're not getting the year as they recommended as of right now. Okay, but I'll give you a call. Thank you, Mr. Graf. Thank you, Honor. 